So I want to try to get right to the point here in the handy baby and you know make this video as short as possible uh, Humanly possible. Anyway, these are the two keys. I bought off eBay. They look kind of identical The only difference is is that here's an original Nissan I got this from the dealer unfortunately he won't sell me just the key part you can get that online for like 40 bucks I guess if a dealer will sell it to you uh, an online dealer um, And you can put that right in the fob. There's a little uh, screw in there that you take this off and you and you could screw that in so um, if you use the handy baby which okay initial cost I think it's like about 170 bucks but even if you have three cars and you do all your extra keys you're still going to wind up saving money and you have the equipment whenever you want to use it anyway I got a cheap key cutter that I'm going to just show you like a short clip of me cutting the key this is my I guess it would be like seven or eight dollar key fob and key blank uh, from eBay, uh, which is a little bit different. If you look over here, the slot goes longer. The two slots go longer, they go closer to the fob. However, if you look at the key setup, that's where it's touching the um, blade, and over here, that's where it's touching the guide. So I had this set up to where the key should cut properly. Um, but it's usually I, I key on those slots there, but I can't do that now because this space has um, way more slot in it than the original key. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to cut this key and then we're going to check it in the Nissan and see if it works. Uh, this is a cheap uh, Chinese, I guess, or whatever. It looks like Chinese. There's some writing on there. Um, key cutter. I don't know what I paid for this, but it's not much. And it's not a really good key cutter, but it does the job. And, you know, if you're going to cut a key and use the handy baby like I did, basically, um, the cost of making extra keys for your car with the fob, uh, with the uh, chip, rather, uh, it's going to be, I guess, somewhere around. But anyway, um, you know, you can just get your key cut and use the handy baby and whatever and save tons of money on um, on programming. So let's cut this key. <laughs> But I cut the key over here and it worked. You read it on the handy baby and then you you program the king chip that they give you or that you buy rather with the handy baby which are four dollars each and you put that into the new remote whether it's a Nissan or Neve doesn't matter and then once the key is cut that's it you're done your car will start up. So let's try to go through this as quickly as possible and um, for anyone who wants to do this okay so here's how the handy baby works i got it set up i got the beginning of the code covered so no no trickster uh, hacks into my car anyway um it comes up automatically when you start it up on the read and decode so we're going to press ok and it should read the original key Okay, so there's the original key ending in 252, right? So now we're going to stop that because we, we don't want to code yet when we're checking things out. Okay, so now we got it set up with the original Nissan key. Now I've already put the King Chip clone in the Nissan key fob that I bought. So I'm going to press OK to read it. It's going to read it and we should come up with 252. There's your clone, 252. So that one worked, okay? Now I'm gonna go back and set this up for a new one. Okay, so we're back to the start. We wanna read the Nissan type key that I bought off of eBay for 10 bucks, and we're gonna see that code. Now we may not see, if the numbers are shorter in the code, you might not see this over the white tape. We're gonna read it now read it so let's see what it says it won't say 252 because i haven't put a king chip in here yet okay you can't see it it's type 46 what they are 
And that's the, here's the ID came up down here because it's, a, I guess because it's a shorter number. Anyway, I don't care about this ID number because this has nothing to do with my car. This is the chip that originally came in here, which would be programmed into another car um, if you were going to use it. I don't really use these original chips. They're not worth that much, so I kind of get rid of them. But anyway, I'm going to install a King chip in here, and it should be cloned to the original keys that I have there that I showed you with the 252 and then it will start the car because I already cut this and checked it okay so once again I'm at the B the uh, boot screen where it wants to read and I have my original Nissan key that was programmed with the handy baby king chip so it's going to read the same numbers and I'm going to read it okay so I'm reading it And it's got the 252. Okay. So this is your Nissan or original type key that I bought for 10 bucks. You're going to take that little screw out and open it up. Okay, so you break it apart. You take this little screw out, right? Where is that little screw? Oh, it's hanging on the edge of my screwdriver. So you take that little screw out, take it apart. And if you look in here, you will see beyond my bad lighting here is that here's the original chip. That's the one that has the code we're not going to use. You're going to have to pry that chip out. There's a little bit of glue on the back of that chip, and you're going to have to pry it out. And then we're, that's where we're going to put the king chip from the handy baby. Okay, there we are. They're all set up. We're apart. There's the original chip out, and here's the king chip that we're going to program and put back into the remote. And then the car will start. So the king chip is in the key fob, and now I'm going to put the key fob together, and I'm going to program it like that while it's together so now that it has the 252 and okay to copy I'm going to put the new king chip that I just set in the remote in and I'm going to copy it put into to the um, it's telling me to put it into the place where I put it don't move the key it's copying to the king chip you hear like a clicking and then if you want any other, so it's success, if you want any other keys, um, you can do them. So now I don't want to do any other keys. I'm just going to go back to the original menu. There it is. And now I'm going to take the key that I just programmed with the King chip, the one from eBay. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to read it. And it should read the 252 number, right? And there it is, 252. So it's another clone chip. This one, of course, I cut. The first one with the King chip I got from the dealer. That's the Nissan key, right? I put the King chip in there. And then I put the King chip in the one from eBay. And then I have the original one that the dealer I bought the car for. And that's it. It's done. Another job well done by Handy Baby. Glad I got this... Um, thing because I've used it uh, on about five cars now making a couple keys like this um, the cost of these keys to make them if you have everything uh, with the chip and the key and the go to the hardware store and get it cut is about 20 bucks um, I think locksmiths charge about a hundred maybe a little over a hundred a dealer I don't know. Some of them are between 150 and 250 or higher if you got a different kind of car. But these are just regular cars, regular Asian and American cars, and um, what have you. So um, I, you know, it does most of the general cars, uh, the the normal cars, the average cars. I guess that were in America, uh, maybe some of them high end cars. It doesn't do. I don't care because I really haven't gone into much of that yet, uh, lately. And also, my Autel scanner will actually program a lot of those keys in the car. Okay, so I wanted to put some clips in there. I just want to end up this video saying that, um, again, um, I got like, um, or I would have had two keys cut um for something like 40 bucks um and programmed a uh, total cost of like 40 dollars but i did did get the original one off the dealer but now i have an extra one here 
uh, Nissan. I got three keys to my car. I got the extra one, which I could use on a customer's car and give him a real good deal and probably make like, you know, 300% profit off of it. So I'm happy with that. And the customer will be happy because it'll be saving them a lot of money. And that's basically it for the Handy Baby. Um, you know, if you're interested, uh, there are cheap key cutters out there that you can make car keys with. Um, it requires a little bit of skill. I mean, I did do it uh, a couple times, and um, I think the, the key is to start off with a good key. That's why I originally went to the dealer to have an original cut, which should have cost me like 60 bucks or something like that. And I winded up paying 100 but I got the fob, and it's an original fob, so I'm happy with the whole thing. So this whole thing to have three keys cost me... Um, $125 to have two keys programmed and the get the original cut. Uh, and the original fob from the dealer, which you can't beat. And I got this extra key that I can use for a customer. Or, again, like you guys can do whatever you want in terms of that. Um, handy baby total cost with the... Um, um, King Chips right now is probably about $210. Uh, again, if you're doing a couple keys, that pays you back, and you get to keep the equipment and the, king, the extra King Chips if you want to order them and do more later on. So it's well worth it. Um, it's worked for me. It does. Uh, you can look on their site or whatever. The only complaint I have on the Handy Baby is that I wasn't able to update it the last time. Um, uh, of course, this is a 2019 car. I've done it with no problems, so I imagine it goes into the 20s. It depends what the car is, but as far as reading, uh, this technology hasn't really changed much, and their King Chip works out pretty good. I have one in my Jeep that I did um, a couple keys for my Jeep, and that worked out great. Um, so again, you get these keys online and they sell them at a, you know, real reasonable price and then you program or whatever, or you bring them to be cut, uh, you know, give that guy a play, your hardware store or whatever, and you're fine. So I'm going to wrap it up right there. I hope this video helps some guys. Um, I, uh, you know, that's my review of the system. Uh, you know, it's not the most elegant system in the world, but cloning i think is one option that you have you know today again if you have a sophisticated scanner like mine that does you know a lot of different operations you can code keys uh, you can code a lot of things but um a lot of people don't want to spend that that's a couple thousand dollars people don't want to spend that kind of money so handy baby on the key cloning if you're going to get cars if you're going to have if you have a lot of cars or whatever or you buy them every couple years whatever this pays off and that's a wrap uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.